What's going on YouTube? Jamie the Kid Zero Zero here, coming at you guys with something a little bit different from the meta. I'm coming at you guys with an Atlantean deck profile. Yes, just Atlanteans, not Mermail, just Atlantean. Um, for those of you who've been subscribed to my channel for a while, you will know that I have a fun locals that I attend on a Sunday where we come up with kind of weird concepts of decks and just play around with them where it's a, a less competitive environment. Um, and that's exactly what I did uh, today. Um, I was playing Atlanteans because I don't have Megalos. So I just played an Atlantean deck with a few Mermails thrown in, but none of that Sphere, Lind, Megalo junk. So it was, it was a lot of fun. I ended up going 2-2. I lost to some really sacky plays, and my opponents would agree that it was really sacky plays. Losing to a hardened armed Obelisk, so basically it's an Obelisk that cannot be killed. And losing to a top-decked VLS, which was always fun. But otherwise, this was, this was good fun. Um, and otherwise, I don't have much to say. We're just going to get into the deck profile. <laughs> You'll see what I ran. And it's pretty interesting that I'll definitely be playing proper Mermails in the future. So I played the One Moulin Glacier. This card is insane. Um, I got this, I think I, played, I think I played this like two out of three, two out of every three games. This is so good. Searching this on the first turn with Undyne and having it there ready and set up is just so good. So effective. I love this card. So you're definitely going to continue to play it. Then we played the Triple Deep Sea Diva. Normally I only really like two in Mermails, well in uh, Mermail Atlantean, but in this I felt the deck needed more power plays and it didn't have um, Moulin Glacier, sorry no, um, it didn't have Megalos, so I felt the need for the third Diva, and I'm playing two Salvage instead of one, so I felt that the third Diva would put in work, and it really did, there were so many times when the third Diva put in so much work. Uh, then I played three Dragoons, it helps you search out your Divas and your Moulins, and of course all the other toolbox cards that you may want. So good, um, I made... I think I made Bahamut Shark and Abyss Dweller once each off of these cards as well, so I got free searches, and it was just generally such a good card. I really enjoyed using it. Uh, double Heavy Infantry. Again, free pops, killing loads of things with this. I killed so many cards with this. So good. Killed a Xi'an with this, actually. That was that was good fun. Killing Xi'an with these is always nice, off of an Undyne, when you think you're about to lose and top an Undyne. Um, then I played Triple Marksman. Diva Marksman was probably the MVP play of the day. Going Diva Marksman, getting uh, Assault Squad, dealing quite a lot of damage, and then making Synchro plays was always crazy good. Um, and then, as I said just a moment ago, I played one uh, Attack Squad. It was so good with these. The ability to, when my opponent is left in an empty field after they've been like torrential or Mirror Forced, the ability to go 14 22 and leave them on, I think, uh, 44 was just so good. That, that amount of early damage off of what is really small monsters and uh, is so good. The, amount, the ability to deal 3600 damage and then exceeds into a Leviathan Dragon and have a free face down pop after that. So good. Point, um, Marksman is such a good card. Uh, then for the only Mermails that the deck played, I played double Abyss Pike for our search power. Um, again, this card was really good. I didn't draw it that much, but when I did draw it, it was really, really good. The ability to get those um, Undines if I didn't have them, or get a Marksman if it was going to be useful. So good. And then I played one Abyss Turge to recycle things that were in the graveyard, basically. If I didn't have Salvage, I had Abyss Turge, so... Good card. Then for non-Atlantean Mermails, continuing on, I played Triple Jack's Undyne. Um, again, probably one of the best cards in the deck. Doesn't matter if you're playing Atlanteans or Atlantean Mermail. Genex Undyne is just so good. And then I played Triple Controller. Um, because I was playing extra Salvages and Abyss Turge, I felt that I was going to be using three Undines, so I felt the need for the third Controller. Um, and it really was worth playing. It really was worth playing. So, yeah, three Controller. And then the final monster was Gores, which I never, never used. So, yeah, that is the uh, monster lineup. On to the spells and traps. Because this deck actually runs a trap lineup compared to uh, my Millet Lantern. So for the spells, we played, of course, the power cards in the form of Reborn, Dark Hole, Storm. I also played the book, the Mind Control, the Allure, because we're playing three Gen X controllers, so it's inevitable that you're going to have those Gen X controllers in hand, so you want to have the Allure. Um, creature Swap, because we're playing so many small monsters, so stealing our opponent's monsters is always nice. And the Avarice, that rounds off our one-offs. Avarice, just because if you go way over five, you really want to have a way to cycle stuff back. And putting those uh, putting those controllers back is quite nice as well for your undying plays. Uh, then I played double salvage because salvage is so good. I would have played a third, but I didn't have enough super, so two was the number. 
I guess I would have liked a third, but two two did as much work as it really needed to. Such a good card, though. I definitely really like the prospect of three, so I would bump it in future. And then I played double MST. I wish I played the third, because I made the mistake of not siding in my third when I played against um, Agents, and he sided Soul Drain against me, and I just lost. So, because I couldn't make Megalo plays and beat over stuff, because I don't have Megalo, so literally my only outs were my heavy infantry, and I didn't have any, so... I didn't have any plays because of Soul Drain, so... Sad face. Uh, then, for the trap lineup, I played double Mirror Force, because Mirror Force is such a good responsive card. I don't like Bottomless in this deck, because if your opponent's already made a play, Mirror For Bottomless isn't really going to do anything for you, because the monster's on board. So Mirror Force removes stuff, I really like that. Um, I played double Threatening Roar. Going down there, I was playing three, but I had to cut I cut one for an Abyss Tage. Um, two put in so much work. I played against Scrap Gear Gear, uh, which was crazy. So every time he was making a Scrap Dragon, he was trying to pop my back row, and they happened to be these. So it took him ages to try and get my... my I had a field of Catastor, uh, Catastor Moulin face down, and he Scrap Dragon my face down, and uh, it was Threatening Roar, so I managed to then kill his Scrap Dragon and... This happened twice, actually. I then set a second Threatening Roar, and the same thing happened again, because he made another Scrap Dragon. Uh, then I played Double Torrential. Because Torrential is too good. And then the One Judgment, just to make sure my plays go off. And Judgment was, was really helpful. Really helpful. Uh, that is the main deck. On to the extra. This is actually 14 cards, and it was thrown together last minute. So, by no means think this is my real extra, extra deck, and don't criticise me on it. I do have a better extra deck, but this is literally what I built before the event. There should have been a Gachi in it, and there should be different changes. So for the fours, I played Armory Arm. I played a Catastor and a Hype Librarian. The, uh, the Hype Librarian Armory Arm play is crazy. The ability to, to deal 3,400 is so good off of two Divas. So they're insane. Uh, I played one Orient Dragon, which should have been a Gaia Knight. Um, one Doolorin, because Doolorin plays are the nuts. Uh, one Black Rose for nuking the field. One Gungnir for selectively nuking the field. And one Stardust. Also, there should have been a Mist Worm. I should find more room for stuff in here. And this should have been a Scrap Dragon, in my opinion. I feel like Scrap Dragon would have been much better in that place. Then for the Exceasers, I played, of course, the one Leviathan Dragon, because the Leviathan Dragon is overpowered in this deck. So overpowered. Uh, one Levire, because Levire is so good, and you want to get back removed from play stuff. Zen Mains, because you've got to play Zen Mains. Zen Mains is such a good card, and it was really good today, except for when it got compulsed. Um, play one My Stroke, because it's the best rank 4. One Abyss Dweller to shut down Graveyard effects and activate my uh, Mermail effects when I detached. Well, my Atlantean effects when I detached. And then one Bahamut Shark, because I really like Bahamut Shark's artwork, and its effect is really trollsy. So I went down with the objective to actually make this, and I did make it. I made it once, so that made it all worthwhile. <laughs> Either way, guys, this has been my Atlantean deck profile. It's just been a really fun deck. It was really enjoyable to play with. And on the 22nd, I should be back with a tournament diary of an actual Mermail Atlantean deck, the actual top tier one, and I'll show you my version of that and how I will play it once I'm able to borrow the cards. But otherwise, yeah, that's about everything. This has been Jamie the Kid 0 I'll see you next time with some more content. Peace out, YouTube. Bye.